Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Klaus, this is my house, and we are back today at Echo Lake Lumber. Uh, the one thing that I did end up doing is uh, adding this little bit here. I don't want you guys to be lost if you see this. Uh, so I did mention that I wanted to make these a little bit more connected, and I thought kind of an upper area would be cool. The other thing that's going to be nice about this is it's up high enough to the point where we're actually going to be able to put the shops down below still. So that plane is not necessarily dead. And the other thing is that I can probably put one house right here in the center uh, with plenty of room for people to walk around said house. Uh, and this is probably going to be like a two tile house, just kind of looking at what we got here. We place it halfway uh, in between and halfway in, and uh, we should be all set, all good to go. Uh, I will end up adding some supports and stuff for this at a later date. I'm not really going to worry about it now too much. Uh, and yeah, that is pretty much that. Um, the other thing that I'm thinking and what I would like to work on right now is this section here. Um, I, I like this, but I kind of don't like the disconnect be between the two things. Um, and I'm thinking that essentially what we'll do is we'll just try and curve it curve it around. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work out that well, but I would really like to have these two little bits connected and kind of go with the rest of the settlement. So we still have the two paths that are split off. It's just going to be uh, a slightly different arrangement. Now, the one thing that is perplexing me a little bit, and I'll be honest with you, is whether or not to take this and move it in like that. And I think that's probably the first step that we definitely need to do. So we'll take that one away. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking we take this and we pull the corner so that it's right there. So let's go ahead and try and give that one a go. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. We're going to take this and we're just going to move it ever so slightly. So that we get something that looks like that. Alright. And this is going to be a good spot for it. So we'll do something like that. Well, the question here really for me is, is this going to be a house or not? I'm thinking no. But, I mean, it, it could it could be a thing. It could still be a thing. Let's go ahead and, um, I don't know, let's just pop a doorway on it and see what we think after we do that. Oh, interesting. They both say plus. Oh, no, this one doesn't say plus. Interesting. Okay. And let's get uh, one of these little guys. We'll plug it in like that. So we already have a little bit better of a line. I'm thinking what we do is we grab that guy, we pull him here, and we go maybe like another two, and then we go out like that. I'm probably just going to have to uh, move this one up. So we're going to mod the position. And we'll pop it up like 32. That's not quite enough. 16. That's not quite enough. We'll go 8. And it looks like it's enough, but it's probably not because we're looking uh, under it. Uh, actually, that seems like it's okay. Alright. Go, and there we go. Alright, so I kind of like this better, how it almost looks like a little bit of a stairway. Uh, and that, that just makes more sense to me. Alright, otherwise everything is pretty good. Uh, still a nice big area, and we could do something similar actually to what we've already done. This is two across, right? Maybe what we do... Yeah, but, nope, put one like that. Alright, that's okay. So when they come down this way, and there's definitely a thing. And... Ugh. Can't fly. Damn you, Fallout. Should let me fly whenever I want. 
Hmm. I'm thinking we kind of we play with this angle that we have going on here. We kind of just curve our way into it. And uh, we, we could do that several ways. Uh, what I do think is a good idea, though, maybe, is if we use this as a guide of where we would like to end up eventually. Maybe something like that. And I'm only doing this because if we... If we do this and, and we pull it up, which we're pretty much planning on doing, what might end up happening is that we're still able to connect it over here. Now we got to figure out exactly how we want to do that, and I think what we're going to uh, end up doing is some stuff like this, and then we'll wrap it this way, um, and we'll just keep trying to spiral it up, up the best that we can. Uh, da -da -da -da. So that should be okay. Now that being said, we should move this one up, and I'm thinking that we curve this one to kind of line up with this. Maybe on these three. Might not be a bad idea. Yoki doki, we are back, everybody, and uh, I have everything kind of all linked up for you, so you can see what the hell's going on. Uh, we have this one coming in here, and that's all good. We have this one coming straight out, and it's going to go basically to the middle curve. I lined these guys up uh, just a little bit again to make sure that they were at least decent. Uh, and then what I'm thinking is we're going to have a house over here, and then we're going to have a house over here. Um, now we could have little stuff set up kind of all over the place. I'm, I'm thinking about um, where to put stores, if we have it be in that main section. I think over there is probably the better spot. Just because it's it's circular, we had kind of have the covering, it's right by the main entrance. It's just going to be really easy to kind of like line stuff around there. Uh, and I think it's just overall going to gonna be a little bit nicer. This can be more of a, a residential type area. Um, and essentially that's what this is all going to be now. Echo Lake Lumber, I don't have this idea in my mind that it's going to be a nice place. Um, not that the people are mean or anything like that. Just when I say it's not going to be a nice place, I'm pretty much saying that it's not your walled-in city. It's not your comfy palace. Um, this is a place where people work hard. Uh, they've chopped down all the trees. They've used the lumber from the lumber mill. Uh, to create this place. And that's the way they like it. They don't need the frills. They don't need the technology. They want a gun in their hand. They want an axe in their hand. And they want to build and destroy at their own will. Kind of thinking that's our... Um, our go-to on this. Now, originally, I was... Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I was planning on coming up from here because I thought it would be a little bit more interesting. But, in retrospect... Hindsight is 2020, after all. I am thinking that what we do, actually, is take it from here and build it up. Now, that does a couple things for us. The first thing that it will do... Is we're already elevated so when we put a ladder up we know that when we put down walls here we're already going to be above them that's good two it just seems like this might be a better area where you can actually come up go this way and up or you can go through and around I'm also thinking this is definitely going to be a little shack house right here um not really impeding the walkway at all uh, we have the opportunity to do it in a couple more places, but um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, for now, what I think we should probably do is consider filling a little bit in over here. I love how with the with the mods, and I think it is the mods, 
as you cycle through these things, you eventually run into what used to be at this place. It's very interesting. Alright, so we got that, and then you know, we might as well go ahead uh, and throw a roof on it. If you liked it, then you should have put a roof on it. In the wise words of Klaus Janssen. Alright, and then we can grab this, which I think is going to be perfect. Now, what I'm hoping... Yes, 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 yes. So it's it just lines up so well. It's like right on top of that roof. It does come through a little bit, um, but it's not excessive, and it doesn't really look like it's floating too hard, uh, which is really, really great. Uh, let's go ahead and do something like this. Now, if we do go ahead and throw a house, which I'm guessing uh, it would probably be actually a really, really sweet uh, little deal to, to kind of match what's happening on the other side there and put a little house uh, right in here. When we put this wall up, we know it's only gonna come up to there. So this kind of works out the best for us uh, in the in the long run. You know what? I, I can see it. Let's let's try it. Let's try it. I kind of have an idea of what I would like to do, uh, and that'd also be really really nice for getting over here. And it still leaves this area open where people can kind of go ahead and do their thing. Um, hmm. I'm already thinking of ideas for other settlements. We've gone too far in this one to really go back and scrap everything. At least. Uh, you guys haven't seen it yet, so you don't know, but I've pretty much committed to this. Uh, I'm thinking about how we're just trying to connect all the buildings together. So to get into one building, you have to be on another platform that gets you into another building that goes through another building that goes onto another platform that winds around over here onto another platform. And um, in, a, in and of itself, that is kind of the safety factor of this um, settlement, is that many of these places are only going to be reachable if you're actually already on top of something. So like this house here, uh, what I'm going to try and do is make it so that you can only get here uh, if you're actually on this, uh, well, the, oh, fuck, this, 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 that, that one, that one, that one. I can't do this YouTube thing all that well. Don't worry, it will not get better. Keep laughing. All right, so just a little bit uh, clipped in, but you can see it's gonna it's gonna be perfectly fine, and then it allows us to just slightly transfer over here. Um, yeah, overall, not too bad. We could have arguably pulled this out a little bit more, and maybe that was actually a smart idea. If we run into some problems, what we're gonna do is uh, actually just redo this section. We'll take these, we'll pull them down, and uh, everyone can be all hunky dory. Uh, but you know, it just depends on how well things go in that corner. Uh, that being said, I think it's also kind of a, a neat idea if we did the same thing for over here. Uh, and how we go about it really uh, doesn't bother me a whole lot. Uh, I think it would be pretty swell. Did something like this. Yeah, actually, do that. And then what we're going to do is finally use my damn brain and pull this up. And maybe 16 now. Okay. So this is this is fine. This is fine. What we're going to do is we're going to do some of this. Don't, don't scrap it. We're going to drop it. And then what I just want to do is do something like that. So it's contiguous now. But we know that we're on a really good height right here. So this way, now what we can do is we can drop ourselves one of these bastards. Oh yeah, what a fine looking bastard it is. Uh, and then same deal, uh, what we're going to end up doing here most likely is just dropping down some support so things don't look like they're super floating, unrealistic. Uh, so that's pretty badass, I'm not going to lie. I do really, 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 really like that. Uh, so happy days, happy days. Uh, and then what I'm thinking is that we do something kind of like this. Doop, doop, doop. Which... 
I don't know, may or may not be the best idea. Far be it from me to argue. Uh, it actually might be a good idea if we just move this up by one uh, one single thing. And in the scheme of things, it doesn't really look like it makes a whole lot of a difference. But in terms of clipping, it will. So when I go ahead and I drop down the, uh, the final sets of floors that we're going to do here, you'll notice that they have the roof piece underneath. Um, not that you probably didn't know that before. However, uh, if I were to put a flat roof down here, then that would bite, essentially. Um, I'm also thinking that what we do is kind of continue uh, a little bit with this. We can have one house that's just going to be out here like that. So then this goes around. Go up here. Or wait. You're going to walk up here. And they should really come over here. Let's move it up one again. And by keeping things on the perimeter, I think we're just going to have a little bit better luck uh, with how we want to go about doing this. Because they come in here. Or come down this way. So what we can do then is place a floor right in here. Uh, and we can just make it like a a regular, regular old floor. We just go halfway with. And then the beautiful part about this is it's so weird that it tweaked itself like that. Ugh. Why is that happening? Well, everybody, I done goofed just a little bit. So, um, this, this thing was acting a little bit funny and um, I ended up trying to like change this rotation speed like that rotation thing changed the thing to put it the other way is the button that I used to start and stop recording so I actually accidentally stopped recording and didn't quite realize you didn't miss a whole lot honestly uh, really you just missed this thing uh, so we built this house you come around here and uh, you know Great, it's a house. The other thing is that this is probably going to be one big house here. Um, but but, but um, I filled in the uh, little miscellaneous wall guys here. We're starting to put a house down here, and more or less, that's pretty much all that you've missed. I mean, we saw that like right at the beginning. Uh, the other thing I was thinking about was how to drop supports and more or less where to drop the supports. Um, and it, I think, just kind of depends on how filled out this all looks towards the end. But without further ado, we can just jump right back into our own homes. Here we go. And I kind of like that. And, um, yeah, from over here, essentially, I'm thinking what we're going to end up doing is uh, a little bit of something like this. A little bit of something like that. Doesn't quite, doesn't quite matter a whole lot. Because it looks good. Because it looks good. Alright, and then this is going to be another little tiny home. These people love their tiny homes, I will admit. I don't quite get it myself, but hey. Uh, you know what, the other thing too is, can we actually do that? Or do we just leave this section kind of open? We could just leave it open. What's the reason for closing it all off? Uh, defensive purposes, probably. You know what, we should. It's just gonna look better that way. Derpy derpy do. And we'll just do that. On that end, we don't really need to do much here. Uh, I was explaining also that we're mixing this up. Yeah, I don't believe you guys saw that. Um, we're mixing up our, our walls here. Uh, just because this is a group of people that has had to kind of work to make it, you know? Uh, they don't have all sorts of fancy things. Uh, they don't have fancy ways of going about doing their stuff. They basically get what they can scrap. And that is that, more or less. So, yes, there is some stuff that they could have constructed on their own, but there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be different just based off of the 
the hypothesis that they had to make their own shit out of what they had. And maybe they had this fence basically all together, just missing one plank. Well, you know what? Better to patch it than to rip it apart and make them all look the same. They're practical people. And I am being impractical about this. I was thinking about trying to make this house bigger by pushing it off into here. Uh, and then I realized there's no reason for me to not just make this two tiles long. Well, that's what you get at the House of Clouds, eh? A bunch of derpy doing. Bunch of derpy doing. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then we can do that just for the light. No one's really going to be looking in this way. I mean, they can just see who's coming into their house, more or less. In fact, let's do that as well. Uh, not that one. This one. Go there. You can go there. Uh, and this will add like a nice little uh, balance to this house. Um, this is actually a pretty good first shot at it. Just straighten it out a tad and we can uh, pop a roof on it. And we'll get the one that's a little bit bigger and we'll just drop that like that. Bam! Alright, cool. I'm pretty down with this. Uh, the one thing that we're going to definitely need to do though is, is drop some spots. Because without no spouts, this thing doesn't look like it's that um, that great. Let's do this as well. Like this person can just deal with the fact that they don't have a a front door, or sorry, don't have a solid wall there. They can look at all the people as the people come and go. That also wasn't too bad. A little bit angled, honestly, but you know, feasible. I'm pleased with that. This will be... Yeah, and you know what? This is nice, too, because they can just look out there and look at the lake. How pretty is that? I'm actually surprised that we haven't already reverted back to um, some pretty nasty weather. But, uh, hey, it's holding up. I'm going to be happy about it. Uh, okay, so this is going to be our last house up on top, so we might as well just throw it in there. Now, we definitely have all of the scenic views, so we might as well get that going. Uh, they're going to be able to look out onto the rest of the village, uh, which looks pretty sweet. I think it's going to be nice once we actually get more stuff going on it. Uh, but, but damn, Klaus. Not too shabby. Not too mother trucking shabby. And let's go with the wood. We can just bring it in like this. I mean, it looks so shitty that I, I believe it could be real. Oh, yeah. I and mean, that's very interesting looking. I'm thinking probably if we do any supports, they're just going to drop down off of there. We'll leave this. Leave that alone. <laughs> uh, it looks like a Jenga tower. Like, if, if one thing were to fall, this whole place is fucked. Like, this is definitely probably the most unsupported top house ever, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna live with it. I suppose what we could have done is is taken this out one more and maybe tried to build up like another weird Well, you know what? Yeah, why not do that? Now I'm thinking about it. We just do this, and we do it from the bottom, though. Here we go. I mean, that's not too terrible. What does it look like on the inside? It looks perfectly fine on the inside. In fact, it's probably because we've lined them up the same way. And uh, the other ones are inside there. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, cool. Um, well, in that case, we can do lots of interesting stuff here. And uh, I think it's going to make it look a little bit better in the long run. Uh, da -da -da -da. We are pretty much focusing on this one today. There's going to be a lot of house building now that I'm kind of wrapping my head around all this. So we'll see what it uh, turns out to be like in the long run. But uh, hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully 
They don't say... Ah, oh, that's right, we're going to have a house that comes out here anyway. Okay, so, uh, we're going to need to forget about you for a second, and then we can drop ourselves... Do we want them to be able to see each other? Yeah, why not? Why not? There's going to be a little bit of a window between these neighbors. They really better like each other, because if they don't, well, you know what? Tough rocks, because you're living next to each other. In fact, I kind of like the idea of both of those there, so we can get um, some more nice views for the people that like the nice views. And uh, I think the other thing that we can do is drop in something like this. Yeah. Yeah, that just makes sense to me. Actually, I did a pretty damn decent job of doing that. Not gonna lie, I'm a natural. All right, so we've done that. Now, is that going to come through the floor? I kind of think it will. See, that one doesn't, though. Pretty... Well, no shit it doesn't, because it just, you know, just placed it in a random-ass location. Oh, yeah, I know. If you could, if you could go back to what you were doing before. Alright, and that's, we've determined not to have that be acceptable. had it, damn it. And how are we gonna get it? How how are you how are you gonna determine that you would like to go the way I want you to go? There we go. Just like that. Okay, and I wanna see how this looks in the floor. If it doesn't look bad, cool. Can't even tell. Perfect. That is the definition of perfect. Alright. Just want to kind of get another view. This looks honestly pretty good. I mean, I think it might even be a decent idea to, like, pull another house off of here that comes out and touches that one. If we could. I mean, why not? We're, we're, we're building, damn it. Uh, and then it's maybe a little bit not nice looking. But it's not a lot not nice looking. In fact, that's a very, very good line. Uh, I kind of wish that I had something here that just got there. Um, I suppose that it's doable with... Um, How important is that to me? It's not. It's not important. Uh, I'm just trying to think of a better way than kind of like shitting all over this. But, let's see. Damn it. Uh, and you know what? That doesn't even actually look that bad. I mean, this is just like a wonderful nest of homes. Like, we have so many homes in such a small little space. I love it. I love this. this. This worked out really, really well. I mean, this is like the only thing that we've done the entire episode, really, but um, it's just going to be so nice. So, 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 so nice. Ah, uh, yes. And then let's uh, keep on the roofs. I like that idea there. Um, and then what we can do is maybe something like this, and we'll take the big roof. And, um, good. Yep do that. Alright. And then for you, what we need to do is basically come up with a way that we are going to um, I'm gonna enter you. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Oh my god. Even when it's completely 100% innocent, it just sounds fucking bad. Just gotta just gotta figure out how to enter you. 
<laughs> like, God, Klaus, calm down. <laughs> no, I must enter you. It just sounds like the most unromantic thing. Could you imagine if someone said that to you? And I, I apologize if we have a younger audience here. Hopefully you just don't understand what I'm talking about. I'm just going to drop it. I'm going to let it be. I'll let it be. Let it be. And yeah. Thank you, Fallout, for presenting me some music so I don't have to create it. Um, and you know what? I'm actually okay with this. While it looks a little wonky, uh, in the end, I think it's going to be okay. Now, what I should do is I should stop building fucking houses. Because that's just going to get me into goddamn trouble. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. We gotta have one different. Boop. Different. There we go. Alright, so, um, it looks pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. I would totally live here. I would totally live here with all the other people. Roughing it. We got, uh, we got our little fence things all the way around. Yes, we do. Uh, I think, I think I haven't actually even touched the, um, no, no, I definitely have. I've definitely changed the build size limit. There's no way I built all this. And uh, we haven't hit the original cap. Uh, okay, so we're all good here. Now, we might as well uh, just kind of include this area. I mean, it's a little, a little wonky, maybe, to include it. But... I keep feeling like I'm hearing things. Like people jiggling my... my my door thing. Yes, I said door thing. The lock. The lock on the door. We got people working out there, though. And yes, we're still dealing... Still dealing with that. It was actually really funny the first time I was uh, attempting to, to do this particular build. I thought that they were done. And then they kept going. And I kind of said, okay. You know, do what you got to do. Even though it's a Saturday. Whatever. And then they stopped. And for a while. So I was like, okay, they finally stopped. I'm going to do it again. And they started again. And then luckily, they've been quiet all afternoon. But very, very frustrating. All right, so this is going to be like its own its own thing. It's three three bedrooms of its own. Well, actually, you know what? You know what? Do you know what? Because this is like a main path, why don't we have um, an entrance to a house? Durr. But on the back end, <laughs> we actually have it be... Um, uh, open. And we put a little guard post here. In fact, let's go do that right now. Put a guard post right here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Got ourselves a little guard post there. It's gonna be so pretty. So pretty. Guard post. Oh, yeah. And we're gonna... We're gonna put down some defenses here. And then, then we're gonna move some stuff around. Oh, yeah. Look at us go! We got ourselves a goddamn guard post right here! The Irish people roll their R's. I know I just spazzed out there. We're gonna let that one pass. Never happened. Don't rewind. Don't rewind the video. Didn't happen. Totally didn't go leprechaun on you. Because Irish people don't roll their R's. Unless they do. Because that's the question I asked, and I would like to know. For future reference. I would imagine some do, right? Some some have to. There's got to be one Irish guy out there who rolls his, his R's. They seem too chipper to not roll their R's. All right. Or if I was Irish, I would say, all right. Uh, you know what? I think Scottish people do that, right? Like, really super Scottish people. Like, you, get, you know, you're from the Shetlands. You're so Scottish that you're not Scottish. You're Shetlandic or whatever the fuck they call it. I actually found that out the other day. Oh, and when I say the other day, I mean like a long time ago. But I'm sharing it with you anyway. 
Uh, people in the Shetlands? What the fuck? America doesn't understand you. <laughs> I can't understand you. <laughs> uh, but for real, it's really hard. It's kind of sad that they're speaking English, I think. And the fact that I'm saying I think should be a should definitely be like a a warning to you. Warning to you all. If you're in the Shetlands right now and you're speaking English, I think you need to reevaluate your situation. Uh, you know what? I'm also looking at these like, oh, we should just use these doorways. They're so nice. You know what? Maybe that's something that we do. But we're not going to do it today. We're not going to do it today. Yeah. I need to end this damn video. <laughs> this is so disappointingly amazing. This video. Uh, you know what? This is going to work for me. I am, I am pretty down. I am down with it. Uh, that's pretty sick. I'm cool with that. That's fine. Um, I do like these ones still, though. And I understand we can put doors on those. We probably won't. Or we're probably just going to leave them open like that. Looking at it. Alright. So, yeah. We're pretty much going to wrap this all up today. We still have a lot of this to go. I might have gotten a little carried away. But, again, it just goes to show you... How absolutely friggin' ridiculous this place is. Why do they give me so much damn space? I don't know. Why do I feel like I have to fill it all? Because I build, that's what I do. Um, but let's go up in the air and just do this thing. Hopefully this one's more like a four episodes, not like a five or six. But um, not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. I'm thinking... That would be kind of cool even to have something like, don't do it, Klaus, don't do it. Something come off of here, don't do it, Klaus. Maybe even something off of here. Don't do it, Klaus. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm thinking, though. I'm thinking. I kind of like that. I kind of like the idea of that. This is another another place where one could, uh, one could have an abode. Why do I want to build so much? I don't get it. It's just I look at this and I think that it could be better. It could be better in like at least one or two ways. When I say one or two ways, I mean that we put a house diagonal off of that. Um, but you know what? We probably shouldn't do it. Because we have so much else to fill in. This is all going to be houses and shit. Uh, granted, it's going to be quicker than this. This was a crazy idea to kind of develop something really, really um, unique about the settlement. Uh, and don't you worry about the lights and stuff like that. We're really going to push for that as well. Um, I think I think what I'm going to do, and I'm going to be really honest with you here, is I'm going to kind of take some of this uh, into my own um, my own off-camera building moments. Um, and the particular reason for that is um, honestly only because there's a lot of stuff that needs to get done and a lot of stuff that's going to be really unimportant to you guys um and i try and like show you while i'm building but when i put railings all along these bridges you don't care at least i think you don't care and i'm going to go with that notion at least for this video if you do care let me know and i'll show you all the railing buildings or something um but it's not going to be tricky it's not going to be that crazy we're just going to try and get it done and that is really the thing that we're after uh, what's the other stuff that I'm thinking? What, what's going on in this brain of mine? I, I couldn't tell you if I wanted to. Uh, oh, and the other thing is the supports. Because we're going to add some supports because this stuff looks like it's way too unsupported. And someone would just step like on this one and boom, the whole thing would come down. So we're going to take care of that too, but off camera. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, let me know down below in the comments section below. Otherwise, I hope that you have a great day, great night, whatever it is to you. And I will see you back here next time for some more building in Echo Lake Lumber.